Well, I'm one of those people that's not into Star Wars. But I saw the movie about Mr. Rogers over the holiday. Some lessons aren't taught. It was good. You should watch it. Did you ever like Mr. Rogers when you were little? They're modeled. That's a big part of what we do here. Regardless of how smart you are or ambitious you are, if you're not a good person, it's not gonna go anywhere positive. Be generous, be kind, be brave, all of those things. Sarah Schechter is the head of lower school at the Oak Ridge School <laughs> in Arlington, Texas. My 144 kids are what I get up every day. And she will soon prove she is everything she preaches. I feel good about it, like I know it's the right thing to do, but am I still scared? Yes. This was six days before a major surgery. That is very nice, very well done. A surgery doctors didn't order, but her heart did. And you think of a thousand reasons why you shouldn't do it. <laughs> For me, I just couldn't, it couldn't be avoided. Where I go to church, it seemed like the sermon was about giving a kidney. Of course it wasn't. But that's what it felt like. Sarah is donating a kidney, so an example of the character she wants every kid on campus to emulate, and something for three of her students to celebrate. We're not really related, so it's great that you're not part of my family and you're still doing it. William is in third grade. Okay. Okay. Sydney fourth. All right. See you later. Miss Lewis came in and she was telling me that. I was like, what? And Aaron is in eighth. That's your sixth is doing kidney to my dad. They never really talk to classmates <laughs> about their dad being sick. Dr. Sexy is actually donating her kidney to my dad. But now that he's getting help, Dr. Sexy is donating her kidney to oh my, my dad. William can't stop talking about it. So he's here taking pictures. And to think that they could lose their dad when they're just kids in school just is so sad that I just, that's my main thing. I just want them to have their dad. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. I'm glad I could do it for you. Here's Dad. There she is. Seeing donor. Hey. <laughs> How are you feeling? Fantastic. I'm so glad. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. 24 hours after the transplant at UT Southwestern Medical Center. Oh my gosh. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> I'm so glad it worked out. How do I pay her back? I can't. I can't pay her back. I just. You know what I mean? It just—it it goes. It runs through my mind all the time. What can you do to thank her for this? What can you do? Words aren't enough. Just one week post surgery. You know, do I cut the grass every day? Do I paint her house? <laughs> I mean, what, what do I do? Nate Jones could laugh about the gift of life. I, I feel fantastic. Freedom is the best word to use. Um, for the past 18 months, I've been tied to some type of machine to stay alive. Nobody knew. You didn't know what I was going through. Undiagnosed high blood pressure caused his acute, sudden renal failure. Hey, Daddy. Hey, sweetheart. These two didn't know each other well. Yeah, ready? Despite different ages, genders, and races, oh. they were a perfect match. No one was surprised that she would do something like this. And that just shows you the type of person that she is. When I say prayers, I'm just rub that kidney. <laughs> Nate Jones never asked anyone to give him a kidney. It was meant to be. Meant to be. Mm -hmm. But at Oak Ridge, they teach. All right. You don't need to be asked. Have a good one. To answer. See y'all. Have a good evening. Are we going to see you tomorrow? In Arlington. You're going to keep coming back? Yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Teresa Woodard. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Take care. Bye.